solar photovoltaic cells were installed on my house in December of 2016 and the whole process that I went through to get that done. And the prior videos were about the whys and wherefores of how it was all done and then I went through the plans and then I went through what was constructed and why we chose those technologies. And then this video is going to be about the information system that comes with the Solar Edge system. And uh, this is one of the major reasons why I chose the system that I did. One of the things that uh, some architects think, and I happen to believe this, is if anybody's got a new improved product, then generally I want to buy, I ask the salesperson, have you got any of the old tried and true products still left in the warehouse because I don't want to be the beta test site for anything. But solar technology is moving pretty fast and uh, a year after something is out they pretty much got the bugs worked out of it or they stop selling it if it's a piece of junk. And so one of the things that's been out there for a while, tried and true, but still new enough to where it's a competitive technology is using optimizers with the individual solar panels, one optimizer per panel, although you can do two panels per optimizer in some circumstances that might make some sense for you. And then having your inverter be separate, which is what the Solar Edge system does. Um, the other reason why we picked it is we had the ability to add batteries onto it later on, but I was able to get this done for what I was able to spend at this time, or willing to spend at this time, and then later on I could add more to it if I wanted to add batteries or more solar panels or what have you. But the, the next leap in either one of those cases was going to be a substantial chunk of money, either redoing the flat roof on my house and re-insulating it to be able to add more solar panels over there, or buying batteries at all as a $10,000 plus proposition. Um, we, we got this done for uh, less than $10,000 total. Uh, I haven't added it all up yet. And then after that, we expect to get a 30% tax rebate on it. So we might finish under seven. And then uh, the last but not least, a very important thing about the Solar Edge system, which attracted me, was that they have this really cool uh, cell phone app that comes with the Solar Edge system. And um, so here we're seeing how much was used in a day and then um, how much in a week and how much in a month and obviously we're only midway through the month here because you're only seeing half a month and then for a year we've only we're only on our third partial month right now and um, so the nice thing about it is going back to the day time that you can see at an approximate time of day how much uh, electricity it's generating and you could decide for instance in our case we normally run our pool pump at night when the rates are down but um, when it's not high summer and we're not air conditioning when we're out of the house then we could decide to run our pool pump or our jacuzzi heater pump during the daytime when the solar system is creating more energy than we're using. So uh, if you understand how electricity is sold, it's a, a weirdo methodology. So you can look at the uh, solar edge system and see how much energy you're producing in a given typical day and then you can decide, hey, I can have my uh, two horsepower uh, pool pump come on at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning when we're at work Monday through Friday and have it run for four hours and cut off and then the first time the air conditioner comes on is 4.30 in the afternoon when, when we're uh, cooling off before we get home. 
So even in the uh, month, month of March, we might have a few hours of the day when it's going to be uncomfortably warm inside the house. Again, old house, not well insulated, uh, two air conditioning units. So by looking at the uh, Solar Edge online system, which is free for a long time, I think it's free for like 20 or 25 years, uh, then we can figure out how we want to adjust our timers. Now, uh, I have my thermostats on electronic timers and my pool pump on electronic timers, but I don't have all that stuff remote controlled from my phone, so um, I still have to plan a little bit ahead. And I'm actually working when I'm at work, so I haven't got time to fiddle around with, oh wait, we could save 25 cents worth of energy by turning this on. So I'm going to automate it all and I'll try to make a schedule for myself depending on the seasons uh, what we're going to be doing. But definitely in July and August if I have the air conditioning set inside the house to keep the house at say 82 degrees when we're gone it will be coming on during the day. It's 116 degrees out there and you can burn your finger on your car um, and it's a hot one in Vegas and so you're not going to want to be running your pool equipment during those times of day you're going to run it when the rates are down in the summertime but um, this time of year might be a good idea to do that um, run the washing machine uh, dishwasher whatever have the crock pot timer come on something like that um, so uh, let's just take a look at the information that's provided on the Solar Edge system for a minute. As I said, we collected those little stickers and then I programmed that data into their system online and I set it up in uh, the two strings that we have. So uh, it presents the data a number of different ways. Uh, one is you're looking at uh, 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 a graph where it's a peak throughout the day. So as the sun goes up, you get more and more and more energy, and then you peak in the afternoon, then you get less, less, less energy, and then maybe a little bit after you come home for the day, boom, no energy. So um, you can see there that there would be some utility in having a battery system and utilizing the power from the batteries during the evening. Um, so we might go for that eventually, but one step at a time. And we don't like to go borrow a bunch of money for something. We would rather borrow a little, pay it off, borrow a little again, pay it off again, and plus the price of the batteries is coming down. So um, you can look at this big uh, block of uh, uh, data and see about how much power you've used throughout the day and give yourself a good idea of when you can have your pool pump or whatever pump come on and not be selling the uh, electricity back to the uh, utility for 20 cents. Then the, the next option for the visual description that uh, the Solar Edge system offers, you see on the lower left the inverter and how much power it's producing in total and then you see the individual panels and so this can help you discover whether you have one panel that's defective. And uh, actually one panel here is doing substantially less than all the others and if you study it for a while you can see that it's not a defective panel. That is the panel that gets the most shadow from the palm tree. Uh, then uh, I'm showing you an enlargement of the uh, of the individual panels and you can see how much is produced out of each one and it's not uncommon at all to have two panels made side by side on the same assembly line one produces a little more or less juice than the other don't let that drive you crazy this isn't one of those things where the uh, manufacturing technologies have reached the point of you know, less than a percent of tolerance of difference. You're going to get some differences. And you're going to have more dust on one than you do on another, or a leaf laying on one. 
So just look at the overall, but if you have a panel go bad on you, you'll know because uh, this will show you which panel is the bad panel. And then the next one you're looking at the two strings. So this is just uh, the, the last uh, visualization we got was actually a layout visualization of how they look on the roof. The two strings does not relate very well to the pattern you see on the roof. Although if you look back at the drawing that I did where I numbered the panels uh, 1A, 2A, 3A, on up to 11A, and then 2A through 2, 11, uh, the numbering on that roof panel drawing does match the strings that you have in the string drawing, and that may also tell you something. And uh, mostly what that's useful for is if you were going to add panels, say, on the west, and you were looking at which string to attach them to, which had more capacity during different times of day and things like that, um, that information would be of value. But if you're not thinking of expanding, then the two-string situation won't tell you much, unless, of course, a squirrel or a pigeon gets under there and chews up a wire, and then one whole string goes down, and then you have an explanation for why some panels are working and others are not. So it could be helpful for that. And then lastly, we're looking at a, a week view there, seeing how much we generated in a week. Um, because rates vary season by season and by time of day, uh, we got a lot of data, useful data from NV Energy to try to calculate um, how much each panel would produce and what that was worth and what the utility would buy it for and all that just wasn't worth it to me. And uh, I don't even think the uh, installers that are design building their own systems do that. It's all done by guesstimate. And uh, that is because how much energy you're going to use in your house on a given day is like trying to figure out how much rain will fall from the sky in a given storm. You have one day you have a light on in this room and one day another room. And I'll tell you right now, while I was installing this, I became more conscious of when we were leaving lights on and things like that. And I did install a couple of timer switches. I don't think it was enough to make uh, more than uh, a dollar or two's difference every month. But again, those are devices that last for 25 years. So they're definitely going to pay for themselves and I'm pretty tired of going around the house turning lights off. So uh, that's the nature of uh, being a family man, I guess, to go around and turn lights off, but uh, two less switches that I'll have to do that with now going forward, and also my family has become conscious of this as an issue. So I think even if we had never installed the solar system, having gone through the process might save us a little bit on our power bill instead of just having me going around reminding that can we turn this light off because electricity costs money. Anyway, with that, uh, that's the summary on the uh, Solar Edge system. And um, I think it's a really super great system. You can go to their website and see some samples and examples. They also have some good videos on how things work. Uh, the reason why I did this video is that I really didn't see anything that covered the territory that I have covered here in these videos. Uh, you, uh, kind of a, you could do it by yourself and you're living in the city and you're not doing a battery backup system. Uh, a lot of people who've done uh, do-it-yourself videos are more rural. Uh, they're not subject to the building department. They're not talking about producing the plans and getting past the building inspectors and the fire safety stuff and all that. So that's the reason why um, I decided that this might be of interest to some people. And um, definitely um, bragged about a few products here, which we have no financial relationship to at all, just because I like them and uh, people that I thought did a good job for me. And um, so um, 
your results may vary. Uh, this is not professional design advice. So uh, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you're on your own and you take the risk. And uh, I would say um, I have seen people spend as much as $40,000 for a similar system in the past uh, two, going two years back. And um, so uh, got it done for a fourth of what they did. And um, so you're going to take a little risk when you save some money like that. But uh, I didn't take a lot of risk because uh, uh, the electricians are professionals, licensed, bonded, insured. And uh, the company that uh, provided everything but the uh, solar panels was uh, Alt E Store. And uh, Bramley uh, did a great job of making sure that everything I needed was uh, all shipped to me in one load and ready to go. And uh, he did send, send me a few uh, necessary, unnecessary extra items. But uh, when you're up there on the roof and you need something, it's well worth it to you to have a little bit extra to make sure that you have enough. You don't want to have to get in your car and go on a scavenger hunt in the middle of a, a day when you're trying to produce something. So I, I definitely don't uh, think that was a defect in their assistance. I think they wanted to make sure that I had everything, and they did, and uh, that was a good decision. So uh, my name is Ken Small. I'm with uh, SSA Architecture, Small Studio Associates in Las Vegas, Nevada. The website is smallstudioassociates.com, and my personal website ABKS Architecture stands for Architecture by Ken Small, ABKS Architecture.com. And uh, if you would please, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video down below and then go to Google and like us and then go to Yelp and like us and then go to uh, your Facebook page and share our website and our videos with your friends. If you'd like to ask me some questions, if you'll send them to the email address on the uh, smallstudioassociates.com website, I will uh, collect them. I'll probably respond to you directly. And if there are enough of them, then I'll create a video of frequently asked questions. So about a year from now, I will make a video talking about uh, how all this penciled out and uh, if I thought it was worth it financially or more like how many years will it take to make it be worth it financially because no doubt it was it's worth it financially it's just a question of how long is the payback and uh, so uh, we'll know better after a year of uh, being in full operation and that'll probably be February to February uh, because in January I was still tinkering around with things and um, uh, not quite uh, leaving it on 100% of the time. So um, maybe in uh, February 2017 or, or March 2017, you'll see the final follow-up video on how all the numbers played out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please like us down below. Ken Small, Architect, Las Vegas, Nevada.